Welcome to the Your House Design channel. Wishing you and your loved ones a good day, we always try to send you useful ideas about architecture, interior, and landscape. Whether you're just starting to think about your dream home or you're ready to start making some changes, we can't wait to help you create your dream home. Thank you for taking your valuable time to watch the video. The trend of outdoor living spaces has gained traction recently, as homeowners seek to expand their living areas beyond their homes. Modern patio and backyard garden designs provide opportunities for seamless indoor-outdoor transitions, serving as retreats for relaxation, entertainment, and communion with nature. By employing thoughtful planning and creativity, one can transform their backyard into a stylish and functional oasis that reflects their taste and lifestyle. In this exploration, we delve into DIY modern patio and backyard garden designs aimed at inspiring the creation of dream outdoor living spaces in 2024. Contemporary minimalism in patio design revolves around clean lines, sleek furniture, and minimalist aesthetics, fostering simplicity in sophistication. Utilizing low-maintenance materials like concrete, metal, and wood enhances durability and ease of upkeep, while pops of color through accessories add warmth without overwhelming the minimalist vibe. Urban Oasis design seamlessly merges nature with contemporary urban elements, employing vertical gardening and industrial-inspired touches for an edgy yet sophisticated ambience, enhanced by ambient lighting and cozy seating arrangements. Sustainable garden retreats prioritize eco-conscious elements and practices, integrating native plants, rainwater harvesting systems, solar-powered lighting, and recycled materials to minimize environmental impact while fostering biodiversity. Meticulous attention to detail ensures every aspect contributes to a sense of peacefulness, engaging the senses and providing spaces for reflection and rejuvenation. Outdoor kitchens and dining areas seamlessly integrate into the patio layout, offering efficient culinary hubs and tasteful dining sets for alfresco dining year-round, complemented by cozy amenities like fire pits or outdoor fireplaces for warmth and ambience. Ultimately, creating a modern patio and backyard garden involves careful planning, innovation, and a personal touch to craft an outdoor sanctuary that reflects individuality and meets lifestyle needs, enriching life for years to come. A modern patio is a great way to extend your living space and create an inviting outdoor oasis. If you're looking to add a modern patio to your home, there are a few things you'll need to consider. First, you'll need to decide on the size and shape of your patio. The size of your patio will depend on the amount of space you have available, as well as how you plan to use it. If you're planning on using your patio for entertaining, you'll need to make sure it's large enough to accommodate your guests. The shape of your patio is also important. A rectangular patio is a classic choice, but you can also get creative with shapes like curves or L-shapes. If you have a small space, a square or circular patio may be a better option. Once you've decided on the size and shape of your patio, you'll need to choose the materials you'll use to build it. Concrete is a popular choice for patios, as it's durable and easy to maintain. However, concrete can be expensive, and it can be difficult to install if you're not experienced.
If you're on a budget, you may want to consider using pavers or bricks for your patio. Pavers and bricks are less expensive than concrete, and they're relatively easy to install. However, pavers and bricks can be more difficult to maintain than concrete, and they may not be as durable. Another option for patios is to use gravel. Gravel is a low-cost option that's easy to install and maintain. However, gravel can be uncomfortable to walk on, and it may not be suitable for all types of patios. Once you've chosen the materials for your patio, you'll need to start construction. If you're not experienced in DIY projects, you may want to hire a professional to build your patio. However, if you're confident in your DIY skills, you can build your patio yourself. There are many resources available to help you build a DIY patio. You can find books, websites, and even videos that will walk you through the process step by step, with a little planning and effort, you can add a beautiful and modern patio to your home. A DIY patio is a great way to extend your living space and create an inviting outdoor oasis. Here are some tips for building a modern patio, choose the right location. Your patio should be located in a spot that gets plenty of sunlight and has good drainage, prepare the ground. The ground where you're building your patio should be level and free of debris, install the base. The base of your patio is what will support the weight of the patio materials. You can use concrete, pavers, or gravel for the base, lay the patio materials. Once the base is in place, you can start laying the patio materials. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions for installation, add the finishing touches. Once the patio materials are in place, you can add the finishing touches, such as plants, furniture, and accessories. With a little planning and effort, you can build a beautiful and modern patio that will add value to your home and provide you with years of enjoyment. Modern patios have become increasingly popular in recent years as homeowners look for ways to extend their living space outdoors. Patios can provide a great place to relax, entertain, or simply enjoy the outdoors. However, there are both pros and cons to consider before adding a patio to your home. Advantage, increased living space, a patio can add valuable living space to your home, creating an additional area for entertaining, relaxing, or dining, enhanced curb appeal, a well-designed patio can add to the curb appeal of your home, making it more attractive to potential buyers, increased property value, adding a patio can increase the value of your home, especially if it is made of high-quality materials and is well-maintained, low-maintenance, Patios are relatively low maintenance. Compared to other types of outdoor living spaces, such as decks or gardens, versatile, patios can be used for a variety of purposes, such as entertaining, relaxing, dining, or even gardening. Defect, cost, patios can be expensive to install, 
especially if they are made of high quality materials or if they are large in size, whether, patios can be exposed to the elements which can damage them over time, drainage, patios must be properly drained to prevent water damage to your home, homeowners association restrictions, some homeowners associations have restrictions on the size, location, and materials that can be used for patios, permitting, in some cases, you may need to obtain a permit from your local government before building a patio. Overall, modern patios offer a number of advantages, including increased living space, enhanced curb appeal, and increased property value. However, there are also some potential drawbacks to consider, such as cost, weather, and drainage. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to add a patio to your home is a personal one that should be based on your individual needs and budget. Here are some additional things to consider when deciding whether or not to add a patio to your home, the size of your yard. If you have a small yard, a patio may take up a significant portion of the space, the amount of sun your yard gets. If your yard gets a lot of sun, you may want to consider adding a pergola or awning to provide shade. Your budget. Patios can range in price from a few hundred dollars to several thousand dollars, depending on the size, materials, and complexity of the Project, your lifestyle, if you like to entertain outdoors, a patio can be a great way to extend your living space and create an additional area for guests, if you are considering adding a patio to your home, be sure to do your research and weigh the pros and cons carefully. Modern patio materials, when it comes to choosing materials for your modern patio, there are a few things you'll want to keep in mind. First, you'll want to consider the style of your home and make sure the materials you choose complement it. Second, you'll need to think about how you'll be using your patio and choose materials that are durable and can withstand the elements. Finally, you'll want to set a budget and stick to it. Concrete. Concrete is a popular choice for patios because it is durable and can be customized to create a variety of looks. It can be stamped, stained, or colored to create the perfect look for your patio. Concrete is also relatively low maintenance, making it a good choice for busy homeowners. Pavers, pavers are another popular choice for patios. They come in a variety of materials, including concrete, brick, and stone. Pavers can be installed in a variety of patterns to create a unique look for your patio. They are also relatively easy to repair, making them a good choice for patios that are prone to wear and tear. Stone, stone is a natural material that can add beauty and elegance to any patio. It is available in a variety of colors and finishes, so you can find the perfect stone to match your home style. Stone is also very durable and can withstand the elements, making it a good choice for patios in all climates.
Wood, wood is a warm and inviting material that can add a touch of luxury to your patio. It is available in a variety of species, so you can find the perfect wood to match your taste. Wood is also relatively easy to maintain, making it a good choice for busy homeowners. Composite decking. Composite decking is a man-made material that is designed to look like wood. It is made from a combination of wood fibers and plastic, and it is available in a variety of colors and finishes. Composite decking is more durable than wood and requires less maintenance, making it a good choice for patios in all climates. No matter what material you choose, make sure it is something that you will enjoy for years to come. Your patio is an extension of your home, and it should be a place where you can relax and entertain guests. Composite decking. Composite decking is a man-made material that is designed to look like wood. It is made from a combination of wood fibers and plastic, and it is available in a variety of colors and finishes. Composite decking is more durable than wood and requires less maintenance, making it a good choice for patios in all climates. No matter what material you choose, make sure it is something that you will enjoy for years to come. Your patio is an extension of your home, and it should be a place where you can relax and entertain guests. A pergola is a backyard garden feature forming a shaded walkway, passageway, or sitting area of posts or pillars that support a framework of beams and rafters. Pergolas are often used to create an outdoor living space that is both functional and stylish. Benefits of a pergola There are many benefits to having a pergola in your backyard. Pergolas can create an outdoor living space. Pergolas can be used to create an outdoor living space that is perfect for entertaining guests or relaxing in the shade, add value to your home. Pergolas can add value to your home by making your backyard more attractive and functional, provide shade and privacy. Pergolas can provide shade and privacy from the sun and neighbors. Enhance the beauty of your yard. Pergolas can enhance the beauty of your yard by adding a touch of elegance and style. Types of pergolas. There are many different types of pergolas available, so you can choose one that is perfect for your needs. Some popular types of pergolas include freestanding pergolas. Freestanding pergolas are not attached to any other structures. They are a good choice for yards that have a lot of space, attached pergolas. Attached pergolas are attached to a house or other structure. They are a good choice for yards that have limited space, arbors. Arbors are a type of pergola that is typically smaller and has a more decorative design. They are often used to create a walkway or entrance to a garden. Materials for pergolas. Pergolas can be made from a variety of materials, including wood. Wood is a popular choice for pergolas because it is strong and durable. However, wood requires regular maintenance to protect it from the elements, vinyl. Vinyl is a low maintenance material that is resistant to rot and decay. However, vinyl pergolas can look less natural than wood pergolas, aluminum. Aluminum is a strong and durable material that is also low maintenance. However, aluminum pergolas can be more expensive than wood or vinyl pergolas, choosing the right pergola for your backyard. When choosing a pergola for your backyard, there are a few things you need to consider, the size of your yard. The size of your yard will determine the size of the pergola you can choose, the style of your home. The style of your home will help you choose a pergola that is the right style for your yard, your budget. Pergolas can range in price from a few hundred dollars to several thousand dollars. Once you have considered these factors, you can start shopping for a pergola.
materials, 4 by 4 posts, pressure treated pine, 2 by 4 beams, pressure treated pine, 2 by 6 lumber, pressure treated pine, wood screws, concrete mix, post hole digger, level, tape measure, saw, drill, instructions, plan your pergola. Decide where you want to put your pergola and how big you want it to be. A good rule of thumb is to make the pergola the same width as your patio or deck, dig the holes for the posts. The holes should be one-third the depth of the post and twice as wide. For example, if you are using 4x4 four four posts, the holes should be 16 inches deep and 8 inches wide, set the posts in the concrete. Make sure the posts are level and plumb. Allow the concrete to cure for at least 24 hours. Attach the beams to the posts. Use wood screws to attach the beams to the posts. The beams should be spaced 24 inches on center, attach the rafters to the beams. Use wood screws to attach the rafters to the beams. The rafters should be spaced 16 inches on center, stain or paint the pergola. Stain or paint the pergola to match your home or deck. Here are some additional tips for building a pergola. Use pressure-treated lumber to ensure that your pergola will last for years to come. Make sure the posts are level and plumb before you attach the beams. Use a drill to pre-drill holes for the wood screws. This will help prevent the wood from splitting, stain or paint the pergola to protect it from the elements. With a little planning and effort, you can easily build a beautiful pergola that will add value to your home and provide you with years of enjoyment. Thank you for taking the time to watch, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more tips on landscaping your backyard, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos, I would love to have you join my community of subscribers, what do you think of these landscaping ideas? Leave a comment below and let me know, please leave a comment and tell me what you think, I hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day, see you next time.